So like most people, I saw the first three screams, but Scream 4 kind of just fell back a little bit in my mind. So I finally decided to catch up on it for Scream 6, and although the common consensus seems to be Scream 3 is the worst or weakest of the Scream films, I'd actually have to say this is the weakest. It's still okay and pretty good on its own, but it did feel a little lackluster. Probably the strongest part is the third act, which got very, very brutal. I don't want to underemphasize it gets insanely brutal towards the end, but I thought it was justified and it worked out fairly well. Some of the twists were clever enough and I thought the beginning part was fairly clever, but yeah, it does feel like the franchise kind of understands its own formula. They want to move forward, but they don't quite know how to move forward. So what is the story? Well, essentially it's just the 15th anniversary of scream itself and the murders and sydney has become a kind of celebrity through her surviving all these ordeals and the tension between her and gail because gail has made some money from the stab movies etc etc so we have the old gang and some new characters and i did appreciate some of the new ones like the way these two kids are obsessed with movies they kind of feel like a bit of an homage to randy and things like that so it's fun and clever in a lot of places but it feels like yeah this is just a formula they're putting it through the meat grinder again and even though this is directed by wes craven it does have his signature style it just doesn't have that touch of a master it feels like okay everyone knows what they're doing they do it very well but beyond a certain point it's diminishing returns overall i liked it i would recommend it but being brutally honest do you have to see this well probably for the kirby part and i did like her and the acting was pretty strong especially in one scene the acting was amazing with her but yeah unless you are a scream fanatic and a completist you'll probably learn enough about kirby to figure out oh okay she's been part of the scream saga this isn't going to give you too much with her she's not the main character she's sort of a side character they did enough with her so in terms of scream six it's really just for kirby and i think that part was fine but as a horror film onto itself and even part of the scream series this is probably the most skippable really you just don't need to watch this as much it's more like a giving you a lot of details and background with some of the other characters and i guess a little bit more with sydney to be fair but that's about it it just felt above average but you were expecting excellence scream 4 is probably the weakest of the screams if you do want to pick one out to be like hmm i'll give that a try later on it's probably scream 4 for scream 6 if you want to be a completist and know all the details it will help it will present a bit of a puzzle this is a non-spoiler review kirby it'll be a question mark i think for most people like wait how does this make sense with scream 6 but overall it's not too damaging to the story but obviously if you know that she's in scream 6 well certain things can't be true in scream 4 and that's a bit of a tragedy but overall i don't think it really destroys the story it just shows that the story itself is okay-ish but it does have a strong beginning and a strong ending but for a big big part of the middle chunk you will be sort of like just not bored but you'll be like oh okay yeah we're doing that thing again and that's about it so that is scream 4 see it but don't come in with high expectations